what is the difference between something being necessary versus something being sufficient? Suppose, for an example, you want to go to a party and there's this really cute person named Taylor that you want to see. And you tell your friends that it is sufficient for Taylor to be at the party in order for me to have fun. How would that be different than if you were to say, it is necessary for Taylor to be at the party in order for me to have fun? In logical terms, we would say that for a condition to be sufficient, then P would imply Q. So in our example, it would mean that if Taylor is at the party and it is sufficient for you to have fun, then this means that if Taylor is at the party, you are guaranteed you are going to have fun. However, this does not mean that if Taylor is not at the party, you won't have fun. It's totally possible, but you just know for a fact that if they are there at that party, you will have fun compared to necessary, which means not P implies not Q, which is the other way around. In this case, saying that it is necessary for Taylor to be at the party for you to have fun means that if Taylor is not at the party, you will not have fun. If Taylor is at the party, it is still possible you will not have fun. However, if they are not at the party, you are guaranteed to not have fun. We can actually combine these two conditions to be something that is necessary and sufficient, and in that case, the two statements must be equivalent to each other, so that if P is true, then Q is true, and if Q is true, then P must be true. This is often represented as the phrase if and only if, so I would say I will have fun at the party if and only if Taylor is at the party, which means that if I have fun, then that must have meant that Taylor was at the party, and if Taylor was at the party, then it meant that I must have had fun.